The question is, uh, what, what are some of the intangibles uh, that a person who goes on to uh, a very successful career in journalism may have that separates them from others who uh, do not go on to successful careers in journalism? Well, I'd ask you to define what you mean by su successful career. Um, people that are in a, on a local level making a difference in their community would be deemed successful f to a lot of others. Um, if you're thinking on national TV, um, I do have a friend who has uh, her own program on CNN. She was, is very driven, very astute, never says, uh, I can't do something or I won't do something. Um, that kind of drive is um, something you'll develop here, but something also as you gain experience in life. And I think probably Shelley could tell you more about the national spotlight for broadcast. Well, I think successful, um, you have to have the drive, you've got to have an open mind, and you have to be willing. In a newsroom, no one wants to hear, I can't, or I won't, or I don't know how. You just go figure it out and you just do it. And I think that the willingness to do whatever is, uh, you're asked to do um, is something that some people can't just get a grip on. And um, you can, in a newsroom, you can usually tell who is going to be successful and who is not. Because your successful ones are the ones that are there from, for, I mean, for instance, yesterday, I was at work from 3.30 in the morning until 4.30 yesterday afternoon. So, you know, you're willing, you just keep going, you just keep doing, and I think that that, that sets you apart. You're um, ha having an open mind. I was a producer, I was a reporter. I moved to Texarkana, uh, which is in Texas, Arkansas, just to make more money instead of staying in the newsroom that I loved. Uh, I've just done whatever they've needed me to do, and, and I consider myself successful because I love being a local news journalist, and I love making a difference in the community where I live, so I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I'm just so happy, so. And I think that goes with national, too. Uh, you just have to be have the drive and be willing to, to do what is asked of you, and if you're going to do it, then don't look back. Make it happen. <coughs> There is, I don't know how you're, Damon, how you're defining being successful. Uh, we'll take it at the network and national level for television news. And I would say that the chances are fairly small. You have to have tremendous talent, tremendous a passion for what you're doing. You have to be willing to work those seven days a week and, and come in early and stay late. You have to get your work seen. You have to be aggressive and ambitious. Uh, the chances of ending up, you're ending up being a uh, sports commentator on ESPN are about the same as for somebody playing college basketball or college football and going on to be the star, a star quarterback in the NFL. Uh, very few get those big, big salaries. Uh, and it's also about contacts and networking and uh, luck <laughs> plays a large part. Shelly and I were talking earlier about another graduate of our program who got a job as a producer at KTAL in Shreveport, and she produces the evening news now, and she's very, very good. <clears throat> well, I think she's going to be going to Denver, which is a much larger market. Market 18. Yeah. So she's jumping from 81 to 18. So you can move up very, very rapidly because, and I'm not trying to discourage you, but it is such a competitive, brutal business that people drop like flies by the wayside because they're not, they're not passionate, they're not dedicated, they're not willing to work hard enough and to devote their whole lives to television news. But if you are and if you're good, you know, you can move up pretty rapidly and we've had, um, you know, graduates who aren't yet 30 years old and haven't been out of this program maybe five years, six years, seven years, all well under 10 years. Uh, and they're in large markets now. So the opportunities for moving up are there, but you have got that, it, television news has to be your whole life. 
I'd say another important factor, uh, luck certainly, I mean, obviously you have to have talent, ability, drive, passion, all these things that have been mentioned, and these things you can develop while you're here at Northwestern, um, certainly with our program and with student media. And in addition to luck, because there is a lot of luck that comes into, uh, into life, but it's being very smart when you go into the field and you find a mentor, someone who will help you, mm -hmm. someone you would love to model yourself after, and uh, get to know that person, have that person help you. That goes along with networking. But in addition to everything that's been said, I think you have to look deep within inside you and figure out who you are as a person. What are your ethics? What do you believe in? What is your philosophy? Will you step on people to get ahead? Because no matter how good you are, if you are not a good person and if people don't like you, they will find ways to see you fail. And um, so I would just suggest to you that you take also a good look in the mirror and you develop yourself into the kind of person that other people want to be around mm -hmm. and, that, and that they'll admire and respect. And I'll give you an example of a student, who, a graduate of our program from only two years ago who's moving up rapidly, and he would not compromise his ethics. Uh, he was asked after he got a job as a reporter to change his name because the general manager did not like his name, and he refused to do it because he said ethically he did not see how he could interview new sources uh, and ask them to, to be honest and truthful with him when he was not being honest and truthful about his own name. He was fired, okay, because he would not, you know, he just would not change his name. Because he was good, he was picked up at another station and will be moving on up very rapidly. So don't, you know, don't compromise what you know is, is wrong to just try to move up because it will come back and bite you in the end. And also, I'll just add this too, if you are interested in broadcast journalism, once you start hopping around or station jumping, depending on how, what market or uh, if you wanna work in your local city or whatever, um, lots of my friends, uh, fellow reporters, they have agents when they get ready to jump to bigger markets. So you can pay for that luck that we're talking about too. If you have the right agent, lots of times you'll get seen. And, and sometimes with national media, especially entertainment news and uh, documentary style TV and magazine style, things like that, they're not necessarily looking for a journalist. Well, they are, but they're looking for someone who looks like a supermodel. So sometimes you can use that to your advantage too and finding a job, that might be an intangible, your looks as well. And I, again, I would say that success doesn't have to be defined as working in a large market or at a network. You can have a successful, rewarding, fulfilling career in a small to medium market and derive a lot more satisfaction by being part of that community and contributing to that community. And I've known anchors and reporters who've stayed at the same stations for 15, 20, 25 plus years. And that's success also. You may choose not to go up to a larger market. 